are single moms more likely to raise alpha males or beta males? Are single moms more likely to raise masculine men or feminine men? Are single moms more likely to raise strong men or weak men? The answers are actually very, very obvious. In case you don't know, uh, single moms statistically are more likely to raise beta males. They're more likely to raise feminine men. They're more likely to raise weak men. Why? Because there is no father around, right? Only a man, okay? Only a man can raise his son to be an alpha male. Okay, single moms do not raise alpha males. If you don't believe the statistics, just look around you, okay? Just look around you. How many alpha males come from single mother households? They don't, okay? And any guys who do come from single mother households that become alpha males have had to do a whole lot of work on themselves. I know for a fact, because I've trained guys, I've taught guys, I've had guys in my programs who've come from single mother households. You might be one of them who's following my work, came from a single mother household, and you are able to identify from a very early age that you were being robbed of your childhood. You were being robbed of your, your basic entitlement to have a dad, to have a strong masculine male role model to learn from. You were being robbed of that, and you recognize that at a young age, and you're like, you know what? I got to start reparenting or I got to start parenting myself and becoming my own parent, becoming my own dad because mine got taken away. My mom ran him off, you know, or where, whatever happened to him. Okay, so I got to become my own dad or maybe you're raised by a weak father figure and you have to become your own dad. Okay, and you do that by fishing out content like mine reading books that are similar on how to fix yourself, how to be a man, right? How to be more masculine because this is something that you're robbed of growing up. You, you didn't have that strong male role model to instill lessons in your life, to instill discipline and to roughhouse with you. I mean, very basic things that fathers do with sons. They roughhouse, right? They wrestle with each other. They go to the park and teach their sons how to throw a ball, Right? And I mentioned this before, how uh, I was at the park once and I saw this, you know, I was taking my dogs out and I saw this single mom. And this is, a not, this is a very common sight, especially these days. I saw this single mom trying to teach her, her, her kid, who's probably like 9 or 10, how to hit a baseball. And this, I mean, the, the mom could barely throw the ball herself and the ball was going all over, the, all over the place. And the kid's just trying to swing and hit it. He just wants to touch the ball to feel like he accomplished something and he's frustrated because a the mom can't pitch worth crap and b i mean if the mom can't pitch i mean the son's learning how to hit for the first time he could barely even reach the ball he's like trying to swing everywhere kid finally got frustrated throws this like heavy ass bat down and i'm like everybody run for the hills this kid is like nine or ten and he is so angry he's so angry because he just wants to hit the ball and his mom can't even throw him a straight pitch. And then she starts looking at my ways, like wanting me to come over there and like pitch for him. And I'm like, I'm here with my dogs, lady. This is not my kid. This is not my responsibility. You know that bad boy Chad that you banged? Why don't you phone him up? Tell him to come down to this park and throw that ball. I'm not that kid's dad. I didn't bang you. I didn't get any benefit out of this. I'm not helping you. You know, I just, you know, at this point, I just don't feel sorry for them. You know, I know it sounds mean, but it's like, no, you put yourself in this situation and I'm tired of this crap. I'm tired of society enabling them and I'm tired of like the mainstream, like calling them heroes and all this. It's like, are you kidding me? Look at the statistics, okay? According to the US Census Bureau government statistics, 83% of violent criminals out there came from single mother households. Okay, we're talking about rapists, carjackers, murderers, these guys all came from single mother households. How are these chicks heroes? If we just if we just abolished single motherhood and made it illegal, for example, like literally the violent crime rate in society would drop by 83%. You would suddenly see 83% less violent crime out there overnight practically, right? Overnight, it would just all end. If 
we stop enabling the sing the single moms, if we stop um, telling w uh, young women that it's okay, you can have you could be a single mom, you could do it all and be it all, girl. Oh, it's okay, do it. You know, it, you're empowered, you're strong. You know, and completely neglecting that child and what that child needs because it's from every um, every psychological standpoint, every psychological statistic in the world will tell you it's mentally damaging and traumatizing for a child, especially a boy, to grow up without a father. Okay, no child deserves that, to grow up without a daddy, a strong father, right? A strong masculine male role model. So uh, when I hear these single moms, like, well, it just drives me nuts. It just drives me nuts, especially when I see these single moms out there with their kid, there's no dad around. You see that a lot these days, right? You see these chicks walking around with their kid, like at a Target or just in a strip mall or something like that. Just this kid, and you're wondering, where, where's this kid's dad? Where's the father, right? And sometimes people will try to argue, well, like, maybe the dad's at home. Maybe the dad's working. You know how you find out real quick if that, that chick has a, that that kid has a father? Look at the girl's finger. Does she have a ring on her finger, right? Because if she has a ring on her finger, means she's married. Okay, that's fine. I get it. Okay, she's married. Yeah, the dad's at work. But 99% of the time, there's no ring on that chick's finger. You know what that means? It means she's not married, which means what? It means she's a single mom. Okay, it means she's a single mom and she's raising little Joey by herself. And she's damaging that child. Okay, oh, how do you know? Are you at their home? No. You know how I know? <laughs> Look at the statistics. The U.S. Census, Census Bureau statistics. Again, 83% son of violent criminals come from single mother households. 80% of high school dropouts, juveniles, alcoholics, drug abusers, pole dancers, okay, prostitutes, teenage suicides, teenage pregnancies, guess where they all come from? Single mother households, over 80%. So, how can you honestly think that single motherhood is a good idea? But not to get too far off topic, the point is, uh, is do uh, these single moms, do they actually raise masculine men or feminine in men? And again, just look around you. If you don't want to believe the statistics, just look around you. Like most of these kids you see out there who were raised by single moms are very much stuck in their feminine frame. Okay, very much. I mean, not only the students that I've gotten that I've had to kind of coach out of it, help out of it, but uh, the guys who still haven't worked on themselves. Right, these guys are out there acting constantly acting through their feminine frame on a daily basis, right? Even some of my haters, right, who do, do these like ridiculous exposed videos, these guys raised by a single mom, these guys acting out of their feminine frame, these guys acting very um, underhanded, at trying to sabotage, okay? I mean, <laughs> no surprise, these dudes came from a single mother household. Why is this any shock? Okay, why is this any shock that these guys are super reactive, super triggered, over emotional, and just weak? They just lack that ability to act like men. And I guarantee you, if you test these guys uh, for, for their T levels, where their testosterone levels are at, I can guarantee their testosterone levels are much lower than where it should be for an average man who is their age and of their physical, uh, physical makeup. Okay, their body and their size, right? Their testosterone levels, I guarantee, are very low while their estrogen levels are very high, which is why these guys effectively act and behave like women, right? Raised by a single mom. They've been surrounded by women their entire lives, right? Beyond just their teachers, because most teachers are female. They've been surrounded by a woman their entire lives with very little interaction from men. Okay, and then probably the only inter interaction she's had from a guy is maybe her grandfather, his grandfather, if he had one of those, or um, the, uh, the, the following bad boys that his 
poor single mom is now banging throughout his childhood, bringing, sneaking into their apartment, sneaking into her room while he sleeps in the other room. Horrible for this child. Horrible environment. How come nobody's called CPS? Horrible, right? Horrible. Um, but at the end of the day, are single moms more likely to raise strong men or weak men? And just based on what we talked about tonight and based on the statistics itself, not to mention just looking around out society where you can see it for yourself, uh, single moms do not raise strong men. They raise weak men, right? They, they raise very feminized men, very beta men. You know, guys who, again, act no different than a chick. They gossip like a chick. They, uh, they talk smack like a chick, right? They sabotage like a chick. They get jealous like a chick. They get envious like a chick. They get manipulative, manipulative like a chick because that's how women evolved really is, you know, they, they didn't evolve uh, and survive by brute strength like men did, right? Where we had to fight lions and tigers and all that other stuff. Uh, women survived through manipulation. They acquired resources through manipulation and through shaming each other, through um, undercutting each other, through sabotaging each other, right? Whereas men don't do that. But when a child comes from a single mother household, male or female, especially male, uh, he will take on those traits of a woman and he will use manipulation tactics, no different than a woman, to get what he wants versus being a man about it and communicating, networking, building, creating, okay? Aligning with other men. No, women don't do that, right? Women don't align with other women. They don't build, help each other build or create anything. They tear things down. They try to destroy each other, okay? They act like they're your friend to your face and then they go behind your back and totally smack talk about you totally pull the rug out from underneath you but you see a lot of these a lot of these guys who were raised by single mothers they act out like that in the real world many of which have youtube channels so you could see this play out for yourself i've mentioned guys who've done exposed videos on me look at these guys raised by single moms look at their behaviors right manipulate manipulation tactics sabotaging running smear campaigns acting narcissistic um trying to uh manipulate like an audience away from one creator onto themselves. I mean, that is what women do, right? So do single moms raise strong men or weak men? They raise weak men. Do they raise masculine men or feminine men? Clearly feminine men. Do they raise alpha males or beta males? Clearly beta males. As always guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching videos. Share any thoughts you wanna share below, any ideas you wanna share below or any experiences you want to share below drop them below i try to read as many comments as possible so drop it below as always this is matt cross from alpha male secrets i'm signing out here from my hotel room in vegas got a spectacular view here can't get enough of this gonna be here for the month filming content uh taking a few private coaching students out onto the strip doing some pickup doing some game and obviously continuing to work grind and enjoy life, right? Enjoy Vegas, you only live once. So don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also hit that notification bell right next to it so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton when you actually subscribe to my channel tells YouTube that you're loving my content, you're digging it, and you want me to produce more of it. So make sure you sub to my channel as well. And for all of you guys who want to support my work and my content and all of this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill, and awesome pill that I'm teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I'm hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And the reason why I'm doing that is to protect my content from YouTube in the event they try to shut me down one day. 
They won't be able to because all of my premium alpha male secrets content will be protected on a private platform and I am paying for that platform so nobody could ever take us down, right? And that is the absolute best way to support my work is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium alpha male secrets channel. And it's real easy to get signed up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. Mm. I love waking up to this guys. This is, it's actually about 6 a.m. in the morning and uh, heading off to the uh, hotel gym here to do my workout. That's why I'm in my workout gear right now. But uh, yeah, it's pretty early and uh, I like to get started early on my day and get out to the strip before other people get out there. But uh, got a great view here. I usually stay way back there at the uh, Venetian, but uh, everything is pretty booked up this month for some odd reason. So everything's like really booked up and I was actually, this was actually a last minute trip to Vegas and I was fortunate enough to get this room. I have a pretty good status here in Vegas. I have like diamond VIP status so I could get a room uh, pretty much guaranteed to me whenever I want to come out. And it usually has a pretty pretty decent view. This is not bad. I've had better views, but this is not, I mean, especially for last minute and Vegas being booked, uh, I'm pretty happy, right? And it looks good on camera. So uh, I'd like to, I'd like to share it with you guys as well. In case you've never been to Vegas, I'll try to share as much of it with you as possible while we bang out these coaching videos. Until next time.